Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about um, what is the best place to create your Power BI date dimension or calendar table. Uh, there are multiple approaches you can create it. You'll find it like some DAX scripts to create calendar table or some Power Query uh, scripts to create the date dimension or calendar table. What is the best way and pros and cons of each method? So let's talk about that. Uh, date table is one of the common tables in a, in a data set, uh, any BI analysis solution. Now, there are different terms for that. Some people call it date table, some people call it date dimension, calendar table, calendar dimensions, even some people call it timetable, even though it doesn't really have um, time buckets in it. The actual timetable should have time buckets, like you should have one row uh, per a time bucket, which might be minute or second or hour, whatever it is. Uh, but if you refer to a table that has one record per day, that is more like a date table. And uh, columns of this table would have attributes of the day itself, such as um, such as year, month, quarter, half year, uh, the week number of the year, the week number of the month, uh, let's say start of the year, end of the year, uh, fiscal year, fiscal month. It can have a lot of columns like that. Now, uh, why do you need a date table? Date table is quite an important table in any BI solution, regardless of the technology you are using, because in a lot of situations, you need to analyze data um, on a date-based approach. This might not be exactly just the day itself. It might be attributes of that day. For example, you might want to see what is the sales in 2008 versus 2007. You might want to see what is the weekday sales versus the weekend sales. You might want to compare, um, let's say, the third um, week of this month compared to the third week of the last month. There are a lot of uh, types of analysis that requires that. And because of that, date table is quite an important table in any BI analysis solutions. I've explained that in detail in another article. The link to that is down in the description below from my blog. Uh, so you definitely need to have a date table. Now, Power BI makes it simpler for um, for using a date table. Power BI comes with a default date table. A lot of people, when I talk with them, they say, well, why Power BI doesn't have a date table itself? Why they don't have a solution for date table? In fact, they have actually. There is a Power BI date table, the default date table, which automatically will be generated for every single date field in your model. Uh, it has columns such as year, month, quarter, day. It is perfect for calculations that only requires this type of attributes of the date field. And you don't really need to do anything. It's just a checkbox in Power BI options and settings in Power BI desktop, which by default is on. Um, and that means you can use the default date table. However, in some situations, you need to create something customized. For example, this might not have the weekday of uh, the weekday. This might not have the week number of year. Some of the attributes might not be there. So you might consider creating your own custom date table. I have written about that also in another article and a video about that. So make sure go and check it out. So either you use Power BI default date table or custom date table, you are using a date table. However, in this uh, video, I'm more talking about custom date table situations that you want to do something which the default table isn't capable of and you decided to create a custom, ta a custom table. Once you want to create a custom table, then there are multiple ways for that. If you search in um, Google, you also find there are DAX scripts to create um, a date table. I have uh, a full DAX script for a date table myself. The link is again down in the description below. Uh, it is a configurable script. You set the from date, to date, the start of fiscal year. You set all of these. It's just a copy and paste. You just download the code, copy it as a new table, and then you'll have a date table with all of the columns beside it. Um, very simple to create. Also, you can do that using Power Query as well. Again, I have another um, 
piece of code which you can download it. It's a Power Query code for uh, creating a date dimension, again, configurable from year to year, uh, start of fiscal year, what is the start day of the week. You'll configure all of that and then you'll create it as a blank query in Power Query script, which would be a date table. So both of these are available. And if you search in internet, a lot of uh, MVPs, uh, community experts, and Microsoft people, they have their own versions of date table, which most of them are perfectly fine. Now, uh, one really big uh, discussion that I see in social media and everywhere is that, well, should I create my date table using M, which is Power Query language, or DAX? Uh, one quick answer to that is that they are both capable of doing that. Date creation is not a date table creation is not a rocket science. You have one day per uh, per row. This can be created through a loop structure, which is possible in both of these uh, languages. Then you'll add just variations of that date, which is possible with a lot of date related functions, which is available both in Power Query and DAX. Like for example, if you want the quarter of the year, you'll have it. If you want to get combination of month and year, you'll have it. There are functions that provide that. And I have written articles about these separately. So they are both powerful uh, engines to create the date table and performance wise, they won't be much different. They are pretty much the same. Um, so saying that like a DAX created date table would perform faster or Power Query to create a table would perform faster. I would say this is really depends on how that script is written. They are not that much different in that side. However, there are a few differences, for example, um, and that, that is more related about DAX and M in general and their purposes. Uh, I have written a blog article and video about this that what is these two? What is the difference of these two languages in Power BI? One of them, which is M, Power Query language, is for data transformation, changing the data in the shape that you want before loading it into Power BI. DAX is for more analytics, dynamic calculations, and I explain that in details. That concept also brings us to the same. Um, kind of difference in here as well. One of the differences, for example, is that if you create your date table in DAX, you don't really need to go to Power Query Editor. All you need to do is to go to Power BI Desktop, create a new table, which we call it the DAX calculator table, copy and paste that script, and, and that's it. You have the date table. You don't need to open Power Query Editor. So it, it makes it simpler, I would say, for for creating it, you don't need another window. You don't need to leave Power BI Desktop, or go to Power Query Editor, create it, and then close it up and apply. It makes it simpler. However, uh, there is a big difference in Power Query side. If you create the date table in Power Query, one of the things is that you can then create it in Dataflow. Now, Dataflow is more like a Power Query engine that runs in the cloud uh, and stores the data um, separately than the Power BI. That means you create your date table, store it somewhere, and then reuse it in other places. That reusability is the key. The consistency is the key. You don't want to copy and paste the script to create the date table in five different Power BI files because when you want to add a column into that table, then you have to go and uh, do that in all of those files. But if you have your date table in one place, let's say in a data flow, then your files in Power BI files, you just go and get data from uh, that data flow. That brings consistency that will reduce redundancy. And in, in the long term run, it would help you to have a lower maintenance cost, of course. Uh, another thing about uh, Power Query is that it helps you to combine with custom data. I'll explain in a couple of scenarios. Let's say um, a company A wants to analyze their, their data, but they want to not only like normal date-based analysis, they also want to analyze it based on their company specific working days. There might be a specific day that the company is off, but it, in fact, it is not public holiday, it is not regional holiday, there is no specific holiday on that, but the company is off. Or there is a day that company uh, is working, but um, that doesn't match the normal public holidays. In those situations, normally there is a table, there is a data set that has those 
company specific working days and you need to combine that with your date table power query is good with that it helps you to merge data tables and combine them to bring one date table instead of multiple one other example is that company b wants to analyze their data their sales data uh, on a date-based situation but they also want to compare what is their sales in public holidays in regional holidays even school holidays, they want to see what is the difference because based on that, they might come with some promotions. Now, this type of information is not really easy to get if you are in the DAX environment. You need an engine that can connect to an API, call the API, get the result, and then combine it with the, with the date table that you have. Something like Power Query is helpful with that because you can call an API and you get the result of public holidays. I have an article and a video exactly about this topic. Go and check it out. So it helps you with customizing your data tables more, but these are specifically for the need that you want. You may not need this, so that wouldn't be then an advantage for you. You can also create the date table in the data source. And this is um, much more common for situations that there is a BI team in the company. There is already a data warehouse. They have a date dimension. That date dimension might be created using a T-SQL script or anything else. I have a blog again with the code, full T-SQL script code that generates the date table. You can uh, go and download that as well. The link to that is down in the description below. Creating it this way would also give you consistency and less redundancy, but you have to ensure that your Power BI developers have access to that, um, to that database table and they know that this exists. Otherwise, there is a date table, but they don't know this exists. They go and create their own version of date table in Power BI Desktop, which is not ideal. Right. So there are different ways to to do that, to create it. And one uh, other thing about date table is that uh, once you create a date table, you perhaps need multiple copies of that. If there's a situation like role playing dimension, role playing dimension is saying that if you have multiple date fields in a table and if you want to analyze those, you can create a copy of the date table and then create active relationship to that. I have explained that in another video. For this type of copies, I would suggest, like I'm more inclined to are using Power Query uh, date table, of course, especially in Dataflow. But for this type of copies, I would suggest creating copies in Power BI using a DAX table with all, which just create a copy of the same table. The reason for that is that this doesn't need to connect to the data source again. You don't have the time of connection and populating that data. You just copy it when it is already in the memory. So all of these in general helps you to, uh, to create your date table. But one important thing is that the date table should fit with your requirement. You might create it using DAX. You might create it using Power Query as long as your requirement fits within that situation, you'll just go and use it the way that you want. Using date table in a situation like data flow will give you better consistency, of course, better usability and extensibility in case you want to have customized date table. I'd like to know your uh, opinion on that. Please feel free to put your uh, comments down in the below. And if you have any questions, let me know. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.